I'm going to win the Chris Bumstead challenge. So in case you don't know who he is, Chris Bumstead is the current and four-time Mr. Olympia champion. He also happens to be Canadian, which is pretty cool. Chris likes to create these challenges for people, and this year he's created the Get Your Shit Together Challenge, which is an eight-week challenge to basically just make you get the best out of yourself. So, why do I think that I'm going to win? Well, I think I have the most to lose. Not in the sense of losing, but as far as transforming my body. Eight weeks is a significant amount of time, especially if I'm putting in the proper work, getting the proper rest, and number one, getting the right nutrition. On top of that, this is the best that I've felt in the last five months. Uh, I've been riddled with my gout and arthritis has been really bad from early February up till a few weeks ago. So I'm just now starting to starting to feel normal again. So I feel like this is just a good time to just take on this challenge. So the day that I'm releasing this video is June 25th and the challenge starts on June 26th. So if you yourself are interested in joining, you have the rest of today to get signed up. But starting June 26 will be eight weeks of pure dedication to my health and my fitness. You're gonna see me work out more, you're gonna see me eat better, and you're gonna see a lot of the foods I'm eating as well. And I'm also going to go more into my diet along the way, especially with my autoimmune issues. It really limits what I'm able to eat. So just kinda get us up to speed where we are currently. Uh, like I said, over the last five months or so, I've been, been dealing with a lot of my uh, autoimmune issues. Um, a large period of time, couldn't walk, my knee was all messed up. Um, I was sick in there for a little while as well, but a lot of issues with my knees um, that were just making it really difficult for me to move around and stuff. And I spent a lot of time in bed, not really moving. So uh, my cardio is not the greatest at the moment, but I've been working on that to kind of prepare myself for this. I've known about this challenge for about two weeks going into, uh, into this video. Um, so I have been increasing my activity. I've been focusing on getting 5,000 steps a day. I know that doesn't sound like a lot to most people, but for me, uh, for working at home for the last few years, and then, like I said, being kind of stuck in bed for a little while, there's been a lot of days where 1,000 steps is all I've ever got. So getting up to 5,000 steps a day and getting that consistently has been a bit of a challenge, especially when you're my size. Um, you can ask anyone that's big, uh, Trying to move a big body around, it, it, it's tiresome, and especially if you haven't done it for a long time, it's really taxing. I've been focusing on the 5,000 steps a day for a couple weeks now to really get myself kind of prepared for this, and also been just easing myself back into the gym, uh, just doing some a, a few simple compound movements, as well as pushing a sled around too, just to kind of work on cardio more and just kind of get my muscles warmed up so we can get back into an actual weightlifting program starting this week. And again, I'm only going a couple, of a couple of days a week right now just to kind of get back into it, but the plan is to get into a five day program. Now, Chris has a program for his Olympia prep, which he's currently on in the app. Um, I won't be following it. Uh, it's just as not it's not best for me at this time. Now, while I've been sick, my nutrition hasn't been terrible, which is good. Uh, I think I think I've put on five pounds over the last five months. Um, my nutrition's been pretty good for the most part. I, I might have been a little too liberal with uh, some of my carb intake, but I, at least I've kind of kept things for the most part in check and I've eaten pretty well. But I haven't been tracking things. I haven't been measuring things. I've just been kind of eyeballing stuff and kind of going with my hunger, which has been manageable, but I am gonna focus on getting hardcore about this again, weighing everything, measuring everything, and having an actual meal plan that I'm gonna go by. I also gotta make sure that I'm not dieting too hard. I gotta make sure that I have enough energy to put in the work in the gym properly and not just you know, phone it in and put in half-ass workouts. I need to maximize this as much as possible because this is a challenge. And part of the challenge for me is also being consistent with uploading videos on this channel. So my goal is that every Sunday during this challenge will be a new video documenting the week that just passed. So next Sunday you'll see week one and so on and so on and so on. And then when we'll get to the end in eight weeks, we'll see how far I've come, we'll see the changes that have been made, and um, 
you know, and then that's when we'll find out that I won. Oh, and when I win, the cool thing for the top prize is the winner, who will be me, is flown down to Florida and gets to train with Chris, which would be pretty cool. Um, I don't think I'm able to keep up with him, but it'd still be pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you'll check out the upcoming videos and see how this transformation journey goes. And yeah, fingers crossed. Let's, uh, for fuck's sakes, why do I suck at this? But yeah, thanks for watching this video and hopefully it's uh, inspired you to maybe join the challenge as well. Like I say, you've got a few hours still before, uh, before the deadline is up. And you know, like and subscribe to the channel. You'll be able to see notifications for when the new videos are released. Like I say, every Sunday I'm planning on having the, the new videos up. And uh, let's get after it.